What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. Today as you can see we're working on Frostbite. We have a brand new awesome modification to install and guys I'm super excited. It's going to save us a tremendous amount of weight and it's going to be a big benefit to the truck. We're ditching this old factory heavy battery and we're getting a new battery and literally as you can see this thing's on my pinky guys this thing is the weight of a feather so stay tuned we're going to weigh both batteries and this is something that i know all my drag race guys out there is going to love let's get it So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this old battery out. Got my 10 millimeter here. I've already removed the bottom clamp that holds the battery. So we're going to loosen these terminals real quick. Bust these things off. And you guys get to watch me literally strain to get this stupid heavy battery out. And keep in mind, this battery is actually about two inches shorter than the factory battery that goes in the Ram trucks, as I've already tried to reduce it a long time ago. So this battery is actually a little lighter than the stock battery. Yeah, I'm not putting that on my pinky, guys. <laughs> That's heavy. All right, so we're going to go back to the back of the truck where I have my scale, and we're going to go find out how heavy this battery is, but it is stupid. All right, so as you can see on the tailgate here of Frostbite, we have my scale. This is a very accurate scale. I use it to weigh my nitrous bottles at work when I refill them. So we're going to get the factory. Um, well, it's not actually the factory battery. This one's actually a little shorter, so it does weigh a little less than the actual standard Ram factory battery. But anyway, we're going to see what it weighs. We got the scale on. As you can see, if you come over here, we got zero pounds on the scale. We're going to put this big old heavy pig on the scale. 45.56. This battery weighs actually 45 pounds, 57. So it's 45.57. That's heavy battery, guys. Not going to lie. All right, so you see what the battery weighs? We got 4557 with my with my old battery. Let's take it off. Let's get out the new XS power battery. This is a lithium battery. And literally, there's my pinky, my pinky guys. I mean, these things that is that is absolutely insane. Let's see what it weighs. 7.41 not even eight pounds it is 7.41 pounds for the same size battery this is lithium battery these batteries are a thousand cranking amps which is more than enough to start a v8 and the model battery that we're using this is the xs power battery this is xv 3400r that is the part number for this battery the link will be in the description so we're going to do kind of a size comparison here with the old battery and you can see if my camera guy comes up here you can see it's literally the exact same size granted we have this one on the scale so it's sitting up higher but it's the same length same width same height so it fits in the battery tray everything goes just as fine we have the positive over here positive over here negative and negative so this is a drop-in battery for your Ram truck, specifically for the drag race guys. And again, 7.42 pounds. Now, I'm not gonna lie, these batteries are a little expensive. They're a little, I think they're just under 600 bucks. But, why do a battery relocation in the bed? You know, that's gonna cost you over a couple hundred dollars in materials and time to do it. And then you gotta worry about all that wiring 
and, and a possible fire and all of that mess. You buy literally a seven pound battery, seven pound battery, it drops in the factory location and you shed literally over 40, pretty much almost 40 pounds just by replacing the battery and it goes right in the factory location. So yeah, that is why I went this route, guys. I was gonna do a battery relocation, put the factory battery in the back of the bed. You know, I figured that might help with traction and it gets a lot of weight off the front. Um, honestly, you know, we really don't need the weight in the bed. The truck hooks up good enough and we're not really having any issues with that. So why keep all that weight? I figured the best thing to do is just ditch this thing literally and it made more sense to buy the excess power battery that's seven pounds, fits right in the location, like a glove, don't have to change anything, don't have to run any special wires, don't have to do anything, but literally undo some cables and hook up the new battery. Now, this is a lithium battery, but it does work on your factory charging system and your factory alternator, so it does work. Now, because it's lithium, there is a little bit of extra care you have to go into charging and maintaining these batteries and i'm going to show you one thing we did invest in this is the excess power lithium charger this is their smaller one i got the eight amp one this is a little over 100 bucks but this is specifically for charging lithium batteries and it's a plug and play deal you hook the battery up you plug in the charger it does everything for you it maintains it it keeps it up to charge if it senses the voltage is dropped, it kicks on the charger. It keeps it, you know, topped out where it needs to be. So it takes all of the guessing and worrying out of it. If your truck's going to sit for a while, this thing will take care of the battery and maintain it for you without having to worry. Um, so that is one extra thing you have to do. Um, you can't just, you know, throw these on a standard charger. You need to get a lithium charger. But with all that said, here is the battery up close. Like I said, this is the XV3400R, 12 volt lithium, 1000 cranking amps. Literally, I mean, it is insane. This thing feels like just a piece of plastic or like a prop for a movie. I mean, it is, it's just, it's crazy. It's insane how light that thing is. I have carried this thing around to my work, to some of my neighbors, and literally pranked them. I was like, look, check out this battery. And, and they just freak out because they think it's going to be heavy when I throw it to them. But it is nuts how light that battery is so again link will be in the description if you're interested in getting one if you're drag racing guys yes like i said the battery is kind of expensive but it's a hard bargain to beat to drop that much weight and it's a bolt on fits right where the old part used to it's just hard to beat that you're going to save a tremendous amount of weight and it's weight that's in the front end that needs to go you know, when you're taking weight out, you want to try to get as much weight out of the front of it as you can. And that is going to be a huge plus for us getting, getting this battery installed and getting some weight off the front of this truck. So let's go get it installed. Now that I got this insanely light battery on my pinky finger here, we're going to drop it into the hole. Oh yeah. Fits in there like it should. All right, so we're going to hook up the battery real quick. We've got the positive side. Get our little 10 millimeter wrench that we somehow haven't lost yet. Nice and tight. Get our ground on. All right, we got our battery installed. We're gonna do a cold start, although it's about 93 degrees outside here, and the humidity is terrible, but we're gonna do a cold warm start, should we call it, on the new battery. This is the lithium battery, 1,000 cranking amps from excess power. So let's see how it cranks up. And you guys get to hear the new exhaust from outside for the first time. So stay tuned, we're gonna have a video 
of a lot of exhaust sounds with the new Carnage mufflers. So here we go. I'm gonna tell you right now that thing started right up a lot quicker than it used to with the old battery I can tell you that for sure not making that up although I'm pretty sure my old battery was on its way out because as you guys know, uh, not long ago we finally figured out a draw that I had on the truck and it kept killing that battery so it was time for a new battery anyways but that lithium battery I'm telling you, you turn it over and it literally almost sounds like the starter's about to snatch the motor off. I'm happy with it for sure. It starts up the truck perfectly. We just dropped pretty much about 40 pounds of weight in the front. So, heck yeah, I'm stoked. I'm ready to hit the track and see if that weight drop did us any good. Maybe we gain a tenth. I don't know. We'll see. We should pop the tire off the ground a little bit higher now with a lot less weight on the front left tire. So, kind of curious to see how the pictures and the video footage comes out with that. Now that we pretty much lost about 40 pounds almost on that front left tire. So I think the wheelies are going to look a little bit better. So let's see what happens. Again, guys, if you're interested in this battery, especially the drag race guys out there, this is almost a no-brainer modification. If you're drag racing, man, honestly, I don't know why I put it off this long, but this is like the only way to go. So look into it. Read up on these batteries. Um, again, I'm stoked. The link to the charger and the battery will be in the video description below. So stay tuned. Lots of new exhaust videos coming up. We'll see you guys on the next one.